morning guys. Well, three days. Three days and I leave. There's still a question up in the air whether I go straight to Liangyun Gong or stop over and ride from Shanghai. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive straight to the port. There's a ferry that leaves there a day after my departure, so I'll be able to spend a night in Liangyun Gong, get my ticket, and then the next day go to Korea. Negatives of that is that it takes away that little ride uh, of about a week in China. It takes away me meeting some people in, in Shanghai and kind of uh, saying goodbye and having a little bit of a send off. But you know what? I've started this tour twice already and I sort of just want to get going. So um, I have started to reassemble my seat, put the trike back together. Today is all about putting my ride kit together. Now I had a couple of you guys asking me why uh, my panniers are not waterproof. They make some waterproof panniers, especially from a company called Ortlieb, and they do. And I rode with Ortlieb panniers. They're basically like riding with uh, watertight bags on either side of your uh, bike, and they're nice. They're great. But there's a couple of problems with them. First of all, they attach to your luggage rack by a couple of clips, and those clips, at least when I had them, are uh, plastic. So over time, they started to bend out and uh, there was a couple of instances where I felt like maybe my panniers were gonna let go. I decided that that was uh, a little bit bad. The other thing was every so often I would, my, my, uh, my panniers, my trike would fall over or my panniers would touch a curb or something and they ended up ripping on the bottom. And so the water tightness was sort of discounted at that point in time. Three, their shape is like rounded instead of squared. And um, when I put my laptops and my hard drives, and they're not that bad for tents and for shoving like, like a duffel bag style uh, way of travel with, with like uh, clothing and whatnot and soft items, but I'm traveling with a fair amount of geometric shapes. I like backpack style uh, uh, bags. And so I found these Arco bags from Canada. What I like about these is they're very square. They got a hard bottom. They have um, a few pockets on the outside like here. They've got a lot of like little compartments and I like to compartmentalize in order to keep me organized. If I'm duffel bagging it, I end up getting too messy. And also like my laptop finds a weird place to go and I like things to be flat with nice rigid edges so that I can store everything and that's why I'm doing that. Now, uh, one of the guys said, well, why are you doing those, um, those bags? They're not waterproof. Why don't you just buy some waterproof spray? Uh, this just arrived today. So I'm gonna spray these down with Grangers, which will add like an extra barrier of uh, waterproofing, as well as those, those bags. I like the idea of having those bags. They're very light. I mean, I'm talking about the, the outer shell bags, the, if it's really wet and rainy. So I'll put those on. Uh, and, and I think what those will do is they'll just have an extra barrier. I'm always worried about my hard drives and my things like that getting wet but I also want the proper uh, containers for them. And uh, the hard drives will go in wet bags, you know, so they will stay dry as well as the drone and everything like that. But anything I can do to help protect from water is a good thing. That's my reasoning for why I'm not using fully waterproofed bags. Plus, plus these Arkle bags are designed for the recumbent because the recumbent rack does not sit as high off the ground as say a bicycle rack. So bike bags don't necessarily work the same on recumbents as, as they do on bikes. So I needed to get a little bit of a special type. So anyways, that's my reason. A few guys out there have been asking me, are you excited? You must be so excited. I am very excited, but I'm also very stressed. I've started this tour twice already ended in ways I, I did not want it to end. And uh, I just want this go to go well, you know? And so I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to insinuate that things are gonna go perfect. I just, I just want to get on the road, get to Korea, get through Korea, and uh, Jayo, you know, that's, that's the objective. If you guys are trikers or cyclists, or you just want to buy a flag to support me, they're sold at T-Cycle. These were made by a friend of mine, Pat, who owns T-Cycle. And if you uh, want to support the Jayo Tour, that is one way to do it. Sport yourself a uh, Jayo flag, cycle flag.
right guys, milestone moment. The trike is loaded up. I would say it's about 90%, 80 to 90% packed. Um, there's some things I added for weight so I could kind of gauge what I'd be riding with and there's some things that uh, I don't have on there that I want to add on later. So the strategic thing is, is this is going to stay fairly open for food and drink along the way. This is going to be my heavy bag with uh, hard drives, computer editing stuff, camping and backpack and helmet, clothing and a little bit lighter than the other side, and then the weight here will be a little bit more. This will be my camera, uh, phones, um, drone when I'm flying. Right now the drone is, is in that side bag over there, but it'll move here while I'm underway and I can use it. So this and the other side will be heavy. This and the other side will be light. So hopefully it'll kind of equalize uh, that as well. We've got my uh, iPhone here, which will be navigation and uh, maybe entertainment. Then we have the Garmin over there, which will be uh, heart rate, cadence, speedometer, and uh, GPS and everything else. Okay, so I am, uh, I'm pedaling. This is kind of how it's gonna be. I have lost the trailer, which is quite a, quite a thing to let go of that trailer. But it makes me a little bit more mobile. I don't have to worry about tight cornering or turning around. I, I don't have that trailer. And it kind of forces me to consolidate a little bit. I have to pick up a uh, lens at a camera store, kind of on the other side of town. So it's a gonna be a nice little ride to test me on this uh, loaded setup. Sounds good? Sounds good. You know, when I first thought about cycling around the world, I was very rarely on a bicycle before then. I was a novice. I still am today, but obviously time and repetition helps and I've ridden this machine for quite some time and so I'm quite comfortable in it. Today on this ride I can kind of feel the, uh, the lineage paying off. Like my brakes are all tuned in real nice, I got my rear shock all situated, my tires are inflated properly. My weight's distributed nice. Everything's really, really nice right now. I got like my brake lever and my shifting all on one hand so that I can film with my, uh, my left. And so far, this weight feels real good. Obviously, I'm not a speed demon, but I never intended to be. Just comfortable. The ride is quiet. There's no clinks or clanks or grinds or anything. It's good stuff. I even got rid of that squeak. Do you remember that squeak I was complaining about? It was the hinge. Because this trike, it folds up and there's a hinge right, right below my butt. And uh, it's got a crank, you know, it cranks down tight. But I guess because I have the side bags and some weird distribution of weight, it probably tweaks a little bit and I could hear it. So all I did to fix it is I took a paper towel, folded it in half, stuck it in between the hinge, and then clasped it down. It was just the amount of cushion that I needed in order to uh, stop that damn noise. It's driving me crazy. So that's good. I hope you can hear me. It's really windy right now. You can tell from my flags. Okay. First stop finished. I just picked up a uh, lens that was being repaired, the 2470, an old piece of glass off of the first camera I started using. Actually, it was, uh, it was Annie's camera. Annie's the one that got me interested in photography in the first place. I came to Ningbo, just put a camera in my hand, and then the, the future was written. So now head to the office. This was a good ride. This was this was 11 kilometers. Just over a, over a couple of hills with a, uh, a load. It's good. Now we can go to the office. One of the things I have is my heart rate strap that goes with my Garmin unit. So when I have that, I'll be able to have some data. A couple things. 
First, the pants I'm wearing, awesome. They're the uh, recumbent pants, new style from Bendit Cycling. Holy moly. These things are so nice. They have uh, vents on the back of the leg so my, my legs can breathe while I'm pedaling. The uh, material they use, <laughs> it's just so nice. The pockets, the construction, the way they cinch down, really good job. Their shorts are amazing. I'll show you them later. Actually, I'll do you a video about them later. But this is my first chance riding them out. Really, really nice. I totally forgot what the second thing I wanted to talk about was. Must have not been important. <laughs> I remember the second thing I wanted to talk about, my departure. The first time I left, just before I left, I had a big party. I invited everybody from around town, displayed the bike, food, movie, the whole nine. But then I got hit by the truck, so fast forward a year later. Another time leaving, another party, another gathering of friends, and then tragedy again. This time, it's quiet. I almost, and then otherwise, anybody else, they'll be sitting at a bar. Hey, where's Matt? You didn't know? He's on the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, doing this thing three times, I just kind of want to get out there. All right, I'm going to leave it downstairs. It's quite heavy. I'm going to try to do that a little bit more. Try and be a little bit more confident with leaving the trike down there. Take, obviously, my phone and my wallet. That's why I was going to strap my backpack over the rear luggage rack and then use it as my porter device. So I'll pull anything really extremely valuable out and then leave the rest on the trike and in an area where I can, you know, be sure that it's pretty safe. Because folding it up, carrying it all, and disassembling it every single time can get a little bit of a pain in the butt. I used to take my trike all the way into every hotel room. Bags, trailer, everything. Even when I had that big honking trailer. That was a bit, a bit extreme, to be honest. Okay, time to gather some things, clean up the office a little bit, and uh, jayo. Man, I feel like there's just not enough time in the day. I started doing some things and Annie messaged me, says, hey, let's come back for dinner. <laughs> this place is such a disaster. <sighs> All right, this is the new strap style. I got straps hooked to the back here. These are the ones that I had made at the tent company. And so they clip onto the luggage rack So I get the tents down, then my backpack, and then it's all down. Let's see how that works. I know this runs counterintuitive, but sometimes I feel like the more weight I have, the nicer a ride is. Like the momentum carries me a lot farther. It's a little bit more relaxing. These guys are my buddies. They open the gate for me all the time. Back of the house was Tinker Dinker. She, she loves this tripod. She's gonna grow a lot in those time when I'm gonna be riding that trike. You're gonna see some cool videos of Baba. You're gonna send me, yeah, I'll, I'll try and get some videos uh, updated with uh, Eva. I know that we'll have, uh, like video chats that I can show you. So we'll do a lot of talking back and forth. Okay, so before I end this video, I have to give you the weights of uh, everything on the trike. I was gonna weigh each little bag, but instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you an overall weight. I'm gonna weigh myself 
and then I'm just gonna weigh everything and then I'm gonna weigh the trike again. I've got a weight on the trike from way back, but uh, so let's, let's first weigh myself and then I'll hold everything and then we can deduct my weight from everything else. Okay, so first me. Okay, 108.7. The side bags, my backpack, and a sleeping bag, 116. Tent, and the sleeping pad, 111.8. So this is both panniers, 122.3, 138.6. Okay, so beyond any little pieces, I would say this is pretty darn close to my riding weight. Jaya. Okay, so to all the people that uh, I'm not riding with, in particular Veltop, because I'm not gonna be riding with that top I used to carry. I do, the trailer company, you're all awesome. It's just, I gotta go super light. I'm even thinking about going with a hammock instead of that tensile tent, because the hammock is by far the lightest out of everything. And that's nothing against those companies, it's just I'm looking to go super, super ultra light. And uh, yeah, so if we take the weights I used to have, and then minus off the weight, that I just weighed just now, this is the difference. I haven't calculated it yet, but I will, and it'll be there, and I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty awesome. So that's, that's called shaving off some weight. I feel pretty good, and it was a good day, so Jayo, like, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you tomorrow.